Coach Betty Rocker here. Welcome to today's workout. We've got a full body hit sculpt to do. That means we're going to be doing some strengthening and some high intensity cardio. So let's get right into this with a great full body warming as well as working move. We're going to start at the top of our mat. Let's go ahead and do a body squat together. Body squat and then walk your hands out all the way to a plank. You have the option to take a kneeling plank here or stay up on your toes. We're going to rotate to the one side and then we're going to come right back to plank. You can go ahead and walk yourself back to where you started. Option to do another body squat or do a jump. Walk it back out. This time we're going to rotate to the other side. Option to stay kneeling or stay up on your toes. Walk it back. Option to jump or to do another body squat, your choice. We're just gonna to continue to alternate which side we rotate to in our rotating plank. Make sure you bend those knees as you come back. Out, walk it all the way out. Option to drop down to the knees. Keep your hips lifted as you reach up. Power it up, body squat or jump. Just gonna do two more. One more on this side and one more on the other side. Come back, power it back come out and reach. Let's walk it back and do one final jump. Great job. All right, my heart rate's up. I felt that everywhere. Next move we're gonna do is really isolate our biceps and our shoulders. So this is gonna be a bicep curl to overhead press. So choose a weight or dumbbell or water bottle that is comfortable for you to do about eight to 12 reps of that move. We're gonna start out by making sure that our shoulders are back and down as if they were up against a wall. We're gonna engage our core and we're gonna begin by curling our palms up to face our shoulders. Then you can turn your palms to face me and then press up overhead. An important thing to note when you're coming up into that press is that your lower back stays nice and flat and does not arch. Anytime we're reaching up overhead, it's easy to lose that form. Keep up the great work, nice and smooth and controlled. Keep breathing, you're doing great. And the best way to figure out if you're using a good amount of weight for this particular circuit is to just notice, is it really hard for you to do all of these reps all the way up to eight? If you're barely hitting eight, I want you to try to go a little lighter. And if you're easily able to do 15 or more reps like this, I want you to go a little bit heavier on our next set. I'm gonna do one more and complete. Great work. I'm actually gonna hang on to these same weights because we're gonna move into a tricep extension and we're gonna do this one standing up. So same idea where your shoulders are back and down as if they were up against a wall and your core is nice and engaged. From here, we're just gonna squat down, keeping our chest up for now, just making sure we can still see the tips of our toes. Make sure that core is engaged and we don't have it arched and we're gonna go ahead and draw our elbows up by our sides, keeping them in close to our body, and kick it back. Eight to 12 reps here. Great job. Hang in there, keep your chest up, keep your core tight. Keep breathing, and stand tall when you're done. Same idea with the weight calibration. And hey, this was your first set of these. It's okay if you didn't have just the right amount the first time. It's something that we can add in in our next two rounds. We're gonna go through this again. Let's start out again with either a body squat or a jump squat. And I'm gonna invite you to do two of whichever choice you take before walking it out and rotating to one side for your rotating plank. Walk it back, two body squats or Two jump squats, walk it out, rotate to the other side this time. Option to stay kneeling as you come out into your plank and into your rotation. Option to float your leg up as you come out into your side plank. Great work. 
Stay strong. You can do this. Nice, strong body lines. Keep your weight back in your heels as you're coming into your body squats or jump squats. Keep breathing. Heart rate is going up, I know. Side plank balance. Come down. Last set. You got this. Come on, walk it out. Rotate. Option to float the leg. Walk it back. Two jumps. Last one. Come out. Woo, balance. Reach. Walk it back. Finish it up with two more squats or two more jumps. Woo, did you feel that burn? Oh my gosh, I sure did. Grab yourself some water. Have a quick breather. Oh my gosh. We're gonna move on. Next set, bicep curl, overhead press. Pick up your weight of the objects. And maybe you wanna recalibrate. Maybe the last time you did this, this was perfect. It's all good. Shoulders back and down, core tight, palms turn out. We curl up, keeping the elbows in close to our body in the curl, and then we press up overhead. Curl, press, maintaining a strong core. Your back does not arch. Press, release, lots of control with each movement that you're making here. Excellent work. Come on. So strong. Keep those shoulders back. Make sure your weight is evenly distributed through your feet. Last one for me. You may be going a couple more reps past me. You may have stopped already. That's all good. Set your, actually you can hold on to your weighted objects. We're gonna move into that tricep movement. I'm gonna build on it just a little bit this time. So let's go over that without any weight to start with. So we come into our chair sit position. Core is nice and engaged. Shoulders are upright and back. This time we're gonna isolate. So the left arm, then the right arm. The left arm, then the right arm. Then we're gonna build on that. So as we kick the left arm back, the right leg is gonna come back. Right arm. Left arm, left leg, oh. <laughs> I'm so tongue-tied. It's an opposite arm, opposite leg step back. So once you feel like you've got that mastered, and remember, it's okay to be blossom with this. <laughs> don't worry if you don't do it perfectly the first time you learn it. Shoulders back, sit down in our chair sit, elbows come up. I'm gonna start with my right arm, left leg, then left arm, right leg, Alternate sides. Great job. Keep your core engaged. You want eight to 12 reps on both sides. So good. Lots of muscle confusion here. Keep your arms in close to your body as you're doing those kickbacks. Really nice job. You got this. Come on. Hold your core strong. Keep your shoulders back. challenging this time when you have to isolate. Great progression. When you're completed 8 to 12, you can go ahead and stand tall, set your weighted objects aside, and we're going to come through this again, starting at the top. But this time, oh my gosh, I invite you to do three body squats or three jump squats before you come into your plank walkout. Let's do this. Here we go. Walk it out, pivot, reach, option to lift the leg. Remember, you can maintain the kneeling plank. Gonna walk it out, other side, rotate, lift, coming back to start. Keep that 
chest up, hips drive back, rotate, Woo! balance, great work, be where you're at, walk it out, balance, keeping your hands stacked just below your shoulder, it's meant to be challenging, keep those knees tracking in line with your toes in your squat position, this is your last one, come on, one, two, three, walk it out, rotate, lift the leg, and come back to start, give me three final squats or jumps, awesome job, I know that was not easy, let's have a quick breather, let your heart rate come down a bit, hydrate yourself, great work. to face me, core is engaged, curl, press overhead, and return to beginning, curl, press overhead, 8 to 12 reps, count your reps, keep that core tight even as you go up overhead, good work, protect your back, you can easily do that by just mindfully engaging your core, think about blueberry spine when we're down on the mat, great job, Come on. Elbows should stay in close to your body and your curl. I'm gonna do two more. You may stop before me, you may go a little beyond me. It's all good, we might be on a different pace. Excellent work. Give yourself a quick breather here. And we're gonna move on into our triceps with the step back. <sighs> so, your feet are gonna be pretty close together, almost touching. We're gonna sit down into our chair sit, engage our core, and then we're gonna pull our elbows up back by our sides. From here, I'll go ahead and kick my left arm back, <laughs> right foot back, had to floss and fix that one. And then we're gonna continue alternating opposite arm and opposite leg. I did this because it really was hard for me when I was practicing it. I kept wanting to do the same side. And that's not, that's not wrong to do that. I'm simply inviting us to challenge ourselves to be really, really present in our bodies. Really struggle through this one. You've also got a lot of core engagement in this movement. Your abs are working to stabilize you as you do these crossover moves. Keep your chest up, keep your core tight, shoulders back, great work, eight to 12 on both arms, both legs. Don't let your back arch. So strong, we got this. Last one on each side for me. Stand tall. Now I'm gonna have you set down any weighted objects off to the side on either side of your mat. And you may choose to use a heavier or different weight set, but I want you to start out with this set to test. We're gonna move on to superset number two. And our first move is a jump switch, and then we slow it down and do two regular lunges. So you're gonna have an opportunity to add a squat in the middle to pick up your weights, which we always practice by bending the knees. So let's, let's go ahead and do that together. Step it forward. And if you don't wanna do the jump switch, you can do two fast lunges and then two slower lunges holding your weight. So I'm gonna demo it. We're gonna go one, two, step the feet together, bend down, pick up the weights, and then we're gonna go one, two, bend the knees, set down the weighted objects, 
Come back to start. One, two. How you doing? Join me, let's go. Bend down, pick up the weights, keeping your chest tall. This time, we're gonna do two reverse lunges. Bend the knees, set the weight objects down. Option to do two fast forward lunges instead of the jump switch lunge. If that doesn't work for you, if the impact is too much, you're just gonna alternate once you're holding your weights, doing a forward lunge or a reverse lunge. Bend the knees. Again, fast, fast, bend, pick it up, slow, slow. Now when you're doing your forward or reverse lunges, I want your chest up tall, your core engaged, and your knees tracking in line with the toes. Good. Shoulders should stay back in their sockets. We have a nice 90 degree bend. The leg that's bending does not hit the ground. Good, come on. Just one more set after this and you could be done. Bend the knees, jump switch, or quick forward lunges, pick up the weights. Last set, one and two. How was that? Let's go ahead, bend the knees, set down your weighted objects, and we're gonna move on to hip thrusters. Now you may like to have a slightly heavier weight for hip thrusters, your glutes are strong, but use what you've got. I want you to find the side of your couch, or uh, I'm using one of the ottomans for my living room. Anything that you've got to lean your back against, and find a couple of weighted objects. I'm gonna use dumbbells. And I'm gonna go ahead and lean my back so that the tips of my shoulder blades are touching the corner of my elevated surface. And I'll start out with just one of these weights across my hip creases. I might feel like putting two in the next round if you have a barbell. However you wanna add resistance to your hips is great. Just make sure that when you come up, you've got a nice 90 degree bend with your feet and your feet aren't in so close that your knees are shooting out. They're not out so far away, you have no control. So let's go ahead and do eight to 12 hip thrusts, squeezing the butt at the top with a three second pause. Lower down, lift up, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release, hold that squeeze at the top. You got this, great work. Squeeze, two, three, lower down. Squeeze, two, three, lower down. You really start to feel your glutes burning. They're working hard, holding this little lift. Awesome job, come on, let's go. Such an awesome booty builder, strengthening for the glutes, which do so much important work for you every single day. Eight to 12 are your reps here. It may be that you're using a weight that's really light for you on this first round, and that's okay. We're just teaching the body where it wants to go. You can add more weight in the next couple rounds if you want to. <sighs> Last one for me, gonna hold and set it down. Moving those out of the way. And we're gonna move on to our final move of superset number two. For this move, we're gonna be targeting the shoulders some more. And I'm using a very light weight because this one gets me fatigued pretty quickly. So it's a three-way raise. So you're gonna start out in that same upright position with your shoulders back and down. We're gonna start out with two raises to the front, just up to your shoulder height. Then you're gonna do two raises to the side. Then you're gonna do two raises to the back. So your palms face behind you and you just press them out and straight to the front for two. Nice work. Two to the side and two to the back. So we're hitting the three heads of the deltoid. The deltoid is named deltoid because delta means three and it's a three headed muscle on your shoulder cap. So this is a muscle that's very thin and small, but it does a lot of important jobs in supporting your rotator cuff. So I like to train it, and I like to train it deliberately, and it doesn't need much weight to really feel that burn. You could do this body weight 
You could do this with water bottles, you could do it with really anything and you'll get a great burn for those delts. You can go until you feel like you're pretty tired here. Um, I recommend eight to 12 reps is sort of the rep range that I like to be in here. But with this one, I'm gonna let you be a little subjective. I don't want you to go to complete failure. I just want you to go until you feel like, okay, I could maybe do one more set of those, but I'm pretty much fried. This is gonna be my second to last set. You'll start to really get a good feel of this the more you do. It's different for everyone. We're all, we're all in different places. And sometimes your energy, just different days, you're just gonna feel different. Maybe you slept poorly or really well. Maybe you're somewhere in your cycle, specifically that's tanking your energy or really giving you a lot of energy. Good work. Just always remember to listen to your body. I'm gonna set those out of the way and I'm gonna grab those lighter ones that I was using for my bicep curls and I'm gonna do that set of jump squats, jump switch lunges to the alternating lunges. I'm gonna create a little more space here on my mat. I'm sweating already, how about you? I love this workout, thank you for doing this with me. Step it forward, chest up tall, core's tight, shoulders are back, we're gonna get ready to jump, switch, then we're gonna bend the knees, coming into a good body squat, and we're gonna go two forward lunges, holding weights at our sides, keeping those weights back. Good job. Bend the knees with control, two more jump switches, or two fast alternating forward lunges with body weight. Bend the knees, keeping your chest up, and we're gonna go ahead and do two reverse lunges this time, keeping the chest up, core tight. Nice job. Bend the knees. Every one of these that you bend the knees is an opportunity to work on squat form, keeping that chest up. Good, two forward lunges this time. So strong, so controlled. Bend the knees, good. Jump, switch, pick them up, reverse lunges. One and two, bend the knees and jump switch, pick them up, forward lunges, so strong, Woo. bend the knees, jump switch, one more set, bend the knees, pick them up, reverse lunges, and you're done, come on, I know your legs are burning, great work, let's go ahead and set those off to the side, have a moment to catch your breath. You're getting towards the end of the workout, so if you're like me and you like to have uh, like an essential amino acid drink, that's what I'm having right now. I'm drinking Rock and Restore. Essential amino acids have all the branch chain amino acids. They have everything that your body needs, all that your muscles need for muscle protein synthesis, for recovery and repair. So that can be a really good thing to do. I put collagen in mine too, just because I'm like, anything that's helping my body tissue, I want to like encourage that. Mm. This will also help with you know, recovery and repair for when you're sore after your workout. It's also really good for supporting your muscles that way. All right, I feel like I'm recovered. We're gonna move on to our hip thrusts, round two. Here we go. Now this time I'm gonna go ahead and go up in weight. I'm gonna use both of these big old dumbbells. <laughs> oh, I also like using a barbell just because the weight it goes nicely across the hips. But use what you've got. Lift, squeeze, two, three, lower. Lift, squeeze, two, three, lower. Squeeze, two, three, lower. Squeeze, two, three, you got this. Eight to 12, count for your reps. <sighs> squeeze, two, three, down. Squeeze, two, three, down. You got this. Lift and hold. <sighs> squeeze and lift. You may be right at the top of your rep range. Maybe you're done. Maybe you wanna do a few more. Totally up to you. <sighs> lift. Squeeze, lift, and squeeze. I'm gonna do one more. And release it down. Nice work. Move 
anything that's there out of your way. And we're gonna set up for our three-way raises now. Round two. Are you ready? Here we go. Shoulders back and down. Core engaged. And we go two to the front. Two to the side. Two to the back. Two to the front. Two to the side. Two to the back. Two to the front. Sorry, yes, two to the front. So awesome, I was just testing myself. <laughs> two to the side. Two to the back. Two to the front. Starting to feel it. I'm gonna do one set after this and I'm done. Two to the side, two to the back. You got it. Last set for me. Two to the front, two to the side, two to the back. Great work. Awesome job. All right, moving on. Last set, best set. We're gonna do those jump switch lunges with the alternating lunge in the middle. Go ahead and set your weighted objects down on either side, right about the center of your mat. And go ahead and get into your lunge position. Chest up, core tight, and begin. One, two, feet to center, squat it down, and we're gonna do two forward lunges. One, two. Back to center, set those weights down, jump switch, or two fast forward alternating lunges. Bend down, pick those weights up, and we're gonna step it back. Reverse lunges. Nice work. Bend down, keeping the chest up, core tight, and jump switch. Bend down, grab those weights, and alternating forward lunges again. I love this workout. <laughs> Come on down, jump switch, reverse lunges. Here we go. Reverse, reverse, bend down, jump switch. Back to start, pick them up. Two forward lunges, coming into the home stretch. Stay strong in your form, bend the knees, jump switch. Last set, we're gonna do those reverse lunges. Here we go, reverse and Reverse. If you rocked that, go ahead and set down your weighted objects. Hydrate yourself or start drinking your recovery drink. You could do your essentials before your workout if you wanted to. I just like to do them towards the end and a little bit after because I just feel like, well, in my research, it seems like that is some of the better times to really support muscle protein synthesis. So that's really good for your recovery as well. Okay, last set of bridge lifts or hip thrusters. If you don't have something to be elevated against, of course you could do bridge lifts on the mat, lifting your hips up with your back on the ground. It's always an option. So position yourself so your back is resting comfortably against your elevated surface. You can do one or two weighted objects in your hip creases. Oh. You may just need to brace them slightly. Make sure your feet are in a good position to support your weight as you come up. And we're gonna pause at the top. Lower down, squeeze and lift and pause. Lower down, feel free to adjust your feet as needed so they're in a good position to support you and it's not bothering your knees. It'll bother your knees if your feet are in too close to your butt or they're out too far. So just play around with that. So strong, we got this. Finish it up, come on. Eight to 12 are your reps here. And then we have one final move, and then you're done. Come on, lift and squeeze, release. Lift and squeeze, and hold, release. Come on, keep breathing, keep your core strong. Feel your glutes on fire yet? Mine sure are. I'm gonna 
gonna do one more. And release. Oh, man, so good. Awesome job. Okay, final move of our circuit. We're gonna pick up another set of weighted objects and get ready for those three-way raises. Here we go. Gonna go. Shoulders back and down, core tight. Two to the front. Two to the side. You got this. Two to the back. Two to the front. Two to the side. Two to the back. Come on, give it your best. I know your shoulders are probably tired, mine are too. This is the last move in the workout. You can do it. Two to the back. Two to the side. Oops, two to the front. Oh, I did my flossomeness. <laughs> two to the side. Two to the back. If you're looking for the flossom tank top, you can find it on the Betty Rocker website. It's under resources or it's under shop. It's under one of the menu items. There's one that says apparel and you can find all of our, all of our stuff. Let's go. Back and one more set for me. Let's go. Finish this strong. You got this, Rockstar. Thank you for coming and working out with me today. You are so awesome and amazing. Woo! Finish it strong. Oh, yes, we rocked that. Now I want you to get out there and have an amazing day. Check out all the rest of the awesome support that's here for you on the BettyRocker.com blog. We have all kinds of other workouts that you can choose from. We have tons of healthy recipes to support your healthy lifestyle. We have blogs that are all about meal prepping, about all of the different aspects of health and fitness, how muscle works what to do, how to train when you're sick or injured, please feel free to browse the categories here on the BettyRocker.com blog. Check out the articles, leave me comments, let me know. I'm always answering them. I'm always looking forward to hearing from you. Of course, we've got programs to help support you along the way. We've got awesome meal plans. We've got tons of workout plans. And of course, Rock Your Life, the online home gym where we have dozens of 30-day challenges, over a thousand classes to choose from, and tons of support in our private support group. As always, I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome and amazing. Thank you for spending this time with me. Please use all of our resources and we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye for now.